I'm Mari with Mari Sews, and thanks for hanging with me. So today is Vlogmas Day 24. It's the last day of Vlogmas for me, um, and it's Christmas Eve. It is also Friday, which means that this is a bit of a Friday Sews where I get to bring you along, and you get to see a little bit of life as it just happened to be. <laughs> Friday Sews was created by Jen over at Today in Jen's Sewing Room. And as always, you can find the link to her channel in the description box right down there. So the big question that Jen wanted all the YouTubers who participate in Friday Sews to answer, if they choose, is what are your wishes? Or what are my wishes for you all? And, you know, I've thought about this a little bit. So for those of you who've been following me along on this Vlogmas journey and saw yesterday's video, you know that my child um, was exposed to COVID at school and so now he's quarantined. Well, that kind of threw a big wrench in our plans um, because for Christmas he was going to get all of his hamster accessories and all of the good stuff, the cage, food, everything he needed for a hamster, along with a little card with a picture of a hamster in it and some money so that way he could go to the pet store and pick out his own hamster. Well, he's quarantined now, so he's not able to do that. And because I just, I felt like I wanted him to experience all the amazing wonder and joy of this season, I decided to pick a hamster up while I was out getting groceries and all that good stuff. So I did, I picked up the little hamster for him and I can't wait until he sees the little guy tomorrow because I just know that he's going to enjoy watching him and spying on him and watching him put food in his cheeks and just the wonder and the amazement that goes along with that. And you all, that's a feeling that I hope you have for this holiday season, whether you celebrate Christmas or not. I would like for you all to just feel how amazing and how wonderful this season is. I mean, there is so much to be thankful and to be happy about. I hope that you're able to see the world with childlike vision and just see the wonder in all the small little moments. I wish that for you. So let me show you how the little cage came together and how I put the little guy in his little temporary home. I got my kid's hamster. He's in this little box. I got a little tiny cage for tonight because he's got a really big cage that we need to build tomorrow that's already wrapped. So I guess let's put this little cage together and put this guy in a little temporary home. Okay, so I had these upside down.
for Christmas, I got Sebastian a much larger cage. Um, and it's the same exact brand. It's a KD brand, so he'll be able to connect this little one to the larger cage. Um, so there'll be lots of options for tubes and stuff like that. So I guess let's get the little guy in his cage and hide him until tomorrow morning. Hi, buddy. Are you ready to come out? Come out. Come on. Come on. I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you're scared. I know, buddy. I know. But I have a beautiful little cage for you. Okay. You want to come out? Yeah, I know you want to come out. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, buddy. I'm sorry. I know. You're scared. I know. I know. I know, buddy. I know. I know. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There you go. Okay. Yeah, you saw your treats? So it's going to take him a couple days to get used to living in his new home. Oh, that opens quite easily. I wonder what Sebastian's going to name his little pet hamster. It's going to take him a couple days to get used to the environment. Um, and I'm sure he'll bite because, you know, he's a little guy and we're big. So I'm prepared for all of that stuff. Right now he looks like he's a happy little guy who's just eating. He's, yeah, he's just eating. You're cute. It looks like he likes to eat for comfort too. <laughs> well, well, there's a cute little guy. He's a little scared, but we're going to keep him in the sewing studio so that way he can kind of get used to his new environment and we'll slowly introduce him to my son so that way my son can start handling him so that way they can create a bond. So I'm looking forward to watching my son tomorrow morning with his hamster. Let me know in the comments below what you're excited about tomorrow. And until then, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day.